Yep. Fish. That's a nice one too, I think. He's gone under that tree. Yeah, that's a better fish. That's a better fish. Yeah, hey guys, it's your boy. Now Chuck is back for another episode of Fisherman's Diary. That's right, filming two apps in two days. It's raining today, so we're gonna get out for a fish. We do have a job to do. Funnily enough, the job is literally next to the spot I was planning on fishing, so that's just incredible. I'll take you with me on the, uh, to work, and then we'll go for fish after. I'm just gonna pack the rods now. I threw some four pound on this, no more two. Uh, it's got three pound backing and then two pound underneath it, and we'll take the old, old faithful as well. So we'll get out there. I think we'll target carp tilapia today and see how we go, see if we can't catch a few. Let's do it. Yep, we might do that. Is it heavy? Ah, oh, not that heavy. Young boat like you. Oh, okay. Come on, don't you, don't you dare. Well, I've got news. <laughs> I can feel legs. Oh, legs. Yep. Oh, it's not a snake. There we go. Oh. You're all right. Got him. Oh. Dirty old blue tongue. Uh, <laughs> he's he's bloody fooled you. You don't yeah. care about him? No. no, no are you happy to leave him? Yeah. yeah you sure? Yeah. Righto, so there's a bit of rain about. It's just kind of passing through where are we? It's just nicking us. So we'll probably sit here for just a second, let this pass before we go. It's not going to take long. See, that was a good sized carp. <laughs> that was a big carp, is what that was just then. I'm pretty sure those there's a fish underneath that one there. Those trees out there, that's where uh, that's where the water usually is when we're not in rainy season. Might even be a lizard actually. It seems like it's swimming across the water. But actually, it's probably more likely a duck than anything, isn't it? Yeah, it was a duck. Um, yeah, so those trees all the way out there. That's usually where you can get to. This is really, really full at the moment. Righto, team. We don't have long before the rains are coming. Is on 64k view. You can just see him peeking into that corner. Yep, 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 yep. Fish, fish on. Not big, but it's a fish. What do we got? Oh, he's not too bad, actually. Oh, yeah, he's not too bad, actually. He's just not fighting. What do we got? Oh, no. Don't tell me he snagged. Come up, come up, come up. What is that? Wait. What's he caught on? Oh, he's caught on a bunch of sticks and stuff. Oh, that's not good. Come on, come off it. There we go. All right. Cool. Well, he's not the carp we were after. That's quite all right. He's absolutely nailed that hook. I don't know if we're going to be seeing that again. But it's a really pretty, oh shit, really pretty spangled perch. Cool. He has to have gotten that. No way did he miss that. Bunch of mullet out there munging down on the bread. Oh, I think that's him. I think that's him. Yeah, that's got to be him, right? Yeah, that's him. That's him. Come on, please be a carp. Fish. What do we got? <laughs> He's not bad. He's not bad. Come on, come in. Oh, I think he's a Spangler still though. What do we got? Oh, it's not a Spangler. Okay. Well, he's not bait, but I don't have a bag with me. Oh, I, throw, I suppose I could throw him in the sandwich bag. I can't really be fucked though. I think he can just go back. It's not what we're after. That's not the carp we're looking for. No, no, don't stop, don't stop. Don't stop. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. That's a fish. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yep, fish. That's a nice one too. I think he's gone under that tree. Yeah, that's a better fish. That's a better fish. What have we got there? That feels a better fish. Yeah, baby. I think that one's a carp. 
He's trying to snag us is our only concern. Go to get him out. Yeah, that's a carp. That one's a carp. That feels too heavy to be anything else. We just gotta get him out of that snag. Come on, baby. Keep coming, keep coming. That can't be an eel or nothing else. That has to be a carp, doesn't it? We are gonna have a god awful tangle. <sighs> On the new rod, that's good. The four pound doing the job here. What do we got? Oh, it's not a carp. It's even better. It's even better. Absolutely. Hello, gorgeous. What are you doing down there? <gasps> Come here, sweetheart. I would take a thousand tangles for one of you. Oh, please, please don't. Please stay on, please stay on. Oh, that is a god awful tangle, guys. That is a god awful tangle. Oh, no. Where's Lita? I don't want to. Oh, how bad is this tangle? We might have to. Oh, that is a god awful tangle, guys. We're fucked with that tangle. I don't really want to take my shoes off, though. If he was one foot closer, we'd be so happy. Come here. Just a little bit closer for me. Just so, we're so close. So close. I don't want to take my shoes off, mate. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. There we go. There we go, got him. Oh. I actually think that snapped. It did too, that snapped. Oh no, no it didn't. No, 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 we're okay. That's not a good tangle. That's not going to be fun to deal with. But how about that, ladies and gentlemen? A beautiful, perfectly tinged tandon. How good. Incredible. Look at that. Tandanus, tandanus. Absolutely. Love getting these guys nice and local. That's a beauty. Yeah, beauty, let's go. 46 he's going to run. 46. Not a small tandon either. That's a beauty. How about it, guys? Nice, muscly. Tandon. Fucking good fight too. We tried to snag me, but we got him out. That's exactly what you're looking for down the local. See you, buddy. In. In the water. There you go. Happy days. Well, that's better than a carp any day. Now I have the worst tangle you've ever seen in your entire life to sort out. But I could bloody care less. Today's been a win and even the sun's coming out too. It's all fucking happening. Righto guys, on our way out again. We're heading to a water dragon, allegedly. Uh, it is in the house, so hopefully all the doors are shut and whatnot. Um, clearly they want it relocated, otherwise they would have just let it out themselves, I assume. Um, shoot, it's half an hour away, so hopefully he doesn't get too stressed in the time it takes us to get out there, but should be a bit of a fun one. Stay tuned. If you don't mind. You Beautiful. Where's so behind the bed, I will grab that. Behind the bed, that way was the last time we think. Oh, yeah, right, beautiful. That's where it was. Should only need these two. <laughs> Beautiful. But it also likes going behind that. Thing. Interesting. There. So he's climbed in. Uh, we could poke it. There's lots of stuff there. Yep. How big roughly? The door? Yeah, by all means. How, how, sorry, real quick. How big roughly was he? Pardon? Really quickly. How big roughly was he? Um, about that long. That long? And dark looking. Dark looking, okay. Yeah, Marjorie, my daughter, said it had a striped tail. Striped tail, okay, interesting. Not a worry. There he is there. I oh, know, certainly is a water dragon. Catching him is going to be the tricky part. I don't want him to break anything. Ah, oh, so this is her bed. This is going to be the trick here. How to get him out. Oh, mate. I know, buddy. All right, so what we might do, these guys can bite. You do not want to be bitten by one of these. They do hurt when they get you. Hmm, I'm just trying to think of the best way to coax him out. I wonder if I can go under this. Looks like I can. That's going to be our best bet. Hey, mate. I know how scared you must be, fella. His head there. Oh, buddy. Mate. It's okay. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. It's okay. Yeah, I know, I know. Trying to bite me there. Ah. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Now he's arcing up. You're okay. Hey, hey, hey. 
You're alright. I know, I know, mate. I know. I know, I know. It's okay. You gotta talk to the lizards, guys. If you don't speak to them, you're okay. You're okay. Now, this guy's, it's not hurting him, but this is just a really solid grip. There. You need to calm down. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay, mate. It's alright. It's just a really solid grip, and it's just giving him nowhere to go. Um, you're not actually choking him or anything like that. You're not gripping him under the neck. You're just squeezing on him like that. We don't do these too often. I know when I see these in the wild all the time, I say, I would rather do a brown snake than one of these because of how fast they are and because of how nasty their claws are. But that's him. Certainly is a watery. What a dragon. Beautiful. I'll show this lady. Uh, howdy. Got him. Yeah, yep. Oh, look at him. Absolutely. He's a good size. Oh, he is. He's gorgeous. Well, really he pretty. Is. Now, my daughter wanted me to ask you, she had touched him with the pole. Yep. Did she hurt him? She no. Didn't want to hurt Definitely him. not. He wouldn't have been hurt at all. No, oh, no. no. These guys are, bit, like you said, very muscly, very strong. Well, isn't he? Yeah, they're incredibly strong. And so, was no. He, behind the bed he certainly was. He was curled up behind the bed there. Righto. Say goodbye to our little dragon here. Got a creek down here, and we're really, really close from where we caught him. So, this should be pretty much the perfect spot. For a release he should know exactly where he is calm there we go beautiful you're okay mate oh i know i know i know i know but you're gonna go okay i want you to run down that way i don't want you to get into the houses anymore you understand me buddy okay you ready off you go <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I think he's learned his lesson <laughs> I don't think we'll be seeing him again We're also driving into what looks like Probably the first storm of the season So hopefully there's no hail in it It's looking fucking dark out there I hope you all can see it through the camera She looks pretty gnarly Storm is looking insane It's palpable you can feel it in the air I'm going to drop this python off This is the one I didn't film Because Hang on, hang on, hang on. Nearly there. Come on, spin it, spin already. There we go. Just a little coastal carpet one, this fella. Hopefully give him enough time to get settled somewhere before this storm hits, mate. Go into some grass or something, buddy. All right, we gotta get a wriggle on because we gotta get to this next one and hopefully home. You can hear that breeze. It's hard to describe, but it's, <laughs> you all know the feeling when the storm's about to hit. Whew. Starting to feel a fuck of a lot like summer, motherfucker! Yes, to home. We're gonna get that shit sorted now. We're going to turn some music on. Because what we're about to do is a mad little dash down to the forest. It's not connected for some reason. Who knows why? Mad little dash down to the forest here to drop this snake off. Last snake of the day, hopefully. I was going to go bowling tonight. We'll see whether that ends up happening. Alright, this is going to be awful, but we're about to be fucking drenched and it's going to suck. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, riggers of the job. What ends up happening with that? Really fucking soaking. But good day. Seven jobs and most importantly that beautiful little tandem. I don't even have anything dry to clean this with, but hope you all enjoyed the episode. I'll catch you in the next one. I've been Nat Shaggy Shorten.
Whew, hope you guys are enjoying this.